My name is George Valkov. In this video, I demonstrate how to insert custom code into the master boot record of a hard disk or flash memory. The original boot code is preserved and executed after our payload exits. The structure of a classic master boot record is presented on the left. From 0 to 446 is located the bootstrap code that we are going to edit. After it are located the partition table and the signature. The next few sectors are usually free. We are going to use them to store our payload and the backup of the original master boot record. Let's open the flash storage device. The master boot record takes the first 512 bytes. Create the backup copy in sector 3. Then save it to a file so that we can add our program to it. I am using a program called debug to edit the bootstrap code. I can run it from a DOS virtual machine, so first I am going to copy the boot code file to it. The next step is to add a tiny code segment to the master boot record. It reads sector number 2 from the hard disk and runs our payload. Once our payload exits, control is passed to the original bootstrap program. The best place to add it is over the text of error messages like error loading operating system. This won't break any code required to start the computer in normal conditions. My program is going to start from 258, which corresponds to 158 on the disk. This is because the start address 0 is mapped to 100 in the program. Open the file in debug and disassemble the first few instructions. We are going to recreate them later at another location. Then add a jump to run our payload. We need to overwrite the original code. The jump instruction takes 3 bytes and overwrites the first two instructions. Writes to SS and SP should never be separated, hence it is safe to resume at 107. SS and SP are the stack segment and the stack pointer. The tiny loader program we are adding has to choose a memory location for the payload. Although assuming addresses and hard coding them might work, a much better practice is to find where the code is actually running from and store the payload at an adjacent block of memory. This can be done by making a function call. In this demo, we will place this function at address 26a. Inside that function we may obtain the absolute return address from the stack. Then the distance to the payload is added to it, forming its absolute address. The relative return address is 25B. We want to place the payload at relative address 300. This makes a distance of A5. Back to the main code. Code 300 runs our payload. After that, the three instructions from the original code are run followed by a jump to the rest of the original bootstrap program. No miss, no operation and COI disables interrupts. It is a good practice to disable interrupts before moving the stack and re-enable them afterwards. The original code does that using the STI instruction.
Then we write our helper function at address 26a. First we take the return address from the stack into BP and then save it back so that we don't corrupt the stack. LEA loads the effective address of BP plus A5 and saves it to BX. Next we configure the rest of the read operation and run in 13 to perform it. Our payload is ready to be executed, so we return to the main program to call it. Our loader code is complete. Type W to save the file. It is ready to be written to the master boot record. To summarize, the jump instruction at 100 calls our tiny loader at 258. It calls the helper function to load the payload from sector 2. Then it runs the payload. Once the payload completes, the original few instructions from the beginning of the master boot record are run, followed by a jump to the rest of the original code. The operating system should start just as if nothing had been modified. To install our code, take it back from the virtual machine and write it to the master boot record. Finally, write our payload to the second sector. Our modified master boot record is installed and the payload should run upon the next boot. When it exits, the operating system will start. In my case, I have installed DOS on the flash drive, but it will also work with Linux, Windows or another operating system. This is my micro-matrix animation. It is just 512 bytes of code, but implements three different modes, controls to change the text colors and some other code. It relays only on the bias codes, so no operating system is needed to run it, but it will also run under DOS. I call this mode rainy day in the matrix, hmm, or maybe raining night. Hold down the car key and you get rainbow matrix. Like I promised, press any key to exit the payload and continue to the original boot code. Hi kitty! 
On this flash drive I have installed DOS. This concludes my demo. Thank you for watching, I hope that you liked it.